Hey guys, what's up? So I don't make a lot of videos anymore. I haven't made a video in a while. I've kind of gotten away from YouTube trying to focus on uh, other things in my personal life. But this is just a video that I felt like I really had to make as, you know, the last couple weeks in the Star Wars community has been, it's been rough. And before I go into that, I just want to kind of explore, you know, my history with Star Wars, how I fell in love with it, how I discovered Star Wars. And basically that was when, uh, when I was four years old, my dad showed me the original trilogy on DVD. It was amazing. I loved it. It was the special editions. I've never seen the original theatrical editions. I want to, but you can't find them anywhere, uh, unless you get them like on VHS or something. But, um, so that was that. And then I got episodes one and two on DVD that following year for my birthday. That was amazing. And then it was the following year. <clears throat> it was May 2005 that I saw Revenge of the Sith in theaters. And that movie just blew me away. It's one of my favorite childhood memories. And ever since then, I've just been a diehard Star Wars fan. I used to collect those little uh, Star Wars Galactic Heroes. It was like little mini uh, toys. I don't know if anyone remembers those like back in like the mid 2000s. I love those toys. And it just went on from there, you know, watching the Clone Wars, playing the games. I love Knights of the Old Republic. I loved uh, the Force Unleashed, Battlefront, Lego Star Wars. And my whole childhood was basically Star Wars for the most part. And it was it was the first fandom, big franchise that I got into. And I never really encountered any problems with the fan base. You know, most of the friends that I had that loved Star Wars, we just talked about the things that we loved. And we didn't have any problems with it. We didn't have any problems with each other. We just talked about Star Wars, what we love. And it wasn't until that I got on social media when I was a teenager that I started to see that there's a lot of Star Wars fans that are very passionate about what they what they like and they don't like, you know, certain things. And that's perfectly fine, but it's the way they go about it. And that's really what I'm here to talk about today. Because if you don't know, if you haven't been like in deep, like in social media, like on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, the Star Wars community has basically been in, sh in shambles the last couple of weeks, mainly due to this new Star Wars show that came out on Disney Plus called The Acolyte. The Acolyte was made by, uh, I think her name is like Leslie, Leslie something. I know it's Leslie something. I don't know her last name. Um, but it's created by the sh uh, the show, and it's a show that takes place a hundred years before the Phantom Menace, uh, during the High Republic era, where the Jedi are literally like in their prime, uh, trying to discover this mystery, this like murder mystery, and uh, it has had the community in shambles. And you'd be like, how can a show be completely like destroying a fan base? And you'd be surprised, or probably honestly, most of you wouldn't be surprised. It's over some very minute, stupid things. Um, the first was, you know, last week, last week wasn't too bad. You know, we had, they had on one of the episodes of Coven of Witches that created um, children that were conceived through the force. And, you know, if anyone knows, you know, the prequels episode, the prequels, that was Anakin's thing. The part of the prophecy of the chosen one was a being that was created, conceived by the force. And, you know, me personally, I mean, that was, it's, it's whatever me. Like, I'm not so like, like I'm a Star Wars fan. I love Star Wars, but I'm not so hardcore to where I get angry if they change anything. If something has changed, I'm just like, oh, that's okay. It's whatever. It is what it is. And I just going about my day. Um, and then it was a couple weeks or the week later, a couple nights ago, the fourth episode of the Acolyte came out. And they uh, introduced uh, in just a small cameo, like it was like, I don't even know if it was like 30 seconds long. It was uh, a young Ki-Adi Mundi. Uh, Ki-Adi Mundi is one of the characters from the prequel trilogy. He was a member of the Jedi Council and people were freaking out because they were like, wait, this dude's not supposed to be alive for like another 40 years. And yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was, that was a big deal. And it got even worse when really a lot of this drama started because Wikipedia, which is like the main Star Wars Wikipedia side, they update every, like as soon as a new show comes out, they instantly go and update everything about that character that pops up in that episode or in that movie. And so they obviously updated Ki-Adi Moody's um, information because it's not like they had that information beforehand. They updated it because it showed up in the Star Wars show. So they have to update it. They have to update their, uh, their site to keep it, you know, uh, up to date. And, um, but yeah, so basically they 
updated the Kiati Mooney birthday and people started to get mad at them because they're saying like, oh, this is disrespecting George's legacy. This is disrespecting the prequel trilogy. This is disrespecting everything. And they, and a lot of these people, the employees of Wikipedia were literally the last couple days have been receiving legit death threats, other threats because of these hardcore passionate fans that don't like anything changed they they want their star wars to stay the same they don't want no one to touch it they don't want nothing to change and now those people are being attacked and a lot of people are hating on a certain content creator called star wars theory now if for some reason star wars theory if you see this i love your content man i think you're a cool dude um i don't always agree with your opinions but again that's what opinions are for not everyone's gonna agree but i do think you're a cool dude and it was because of a lot of people are pointing this to Star Wars Theory saying that, you know, a lot of his fan base is the one attacking Wikipedia um, because Star Wars Theory did make a, you know, a video about it talking about like how he thought it was really funny that Wikipedia changed it all of a sudden. And while I do agree that a lot of those, a lot of those hateful, toxic fans do watch Star Wars Theory, he is also the biggest Star Wars channel on YouTube and has been for like the last five plus years. And, um, so of course a lot of them are going to watch him. Um, but yeah, I don't think that anyone should be sending hate to Wikipedia. I don't think anyone should be sending hate to Star Wars Theory. No one should be sending hate to each other. And it's just ridiculous. Why are we hating and berating and sending death threats and just screaming at each other over a fictional universe? Guys, it's not real. This isn't real life. There's no lightsabers. There's no starships. There's no other planets like Coruscant, Mustafar, whatever. It's not real. And I don't understand why people are so gung-ho on basically destroying each other over something that's not real. And I understand you love this franchise. I understand that you know your entire life has been based around this franchise. And that's awesome. That's amazing. I'm glad you have something that you hold on to so dearly that it gives you hope. It gives your life meaning. It gives you purpose. It gives you a reason to keep going. That's amazing. But you cannot, your passion for... And I'm not talking to every Star Wars community member. I'm talking, it's like this maybe like 25, maybe 30% minority. It's a very loud minority, but it's like maybe 25, 30% of the fan base. I know you guys are so passionate, but you have allowed that passion to turn into hate to the point where you guys are literally just, you guys literally are wanting these people, something bad to happen to them because they either like Star Wars, they don't like Star Wars, they're involved in Star Wars. And it's ridiculous. And sadly, it's been like this for a long time. Episode one, Jake Lloyd played a young Anakin Skywalker. That boy was bullied online merciless, mercilessly for years until eventually he became a schizophrenic. And Ahmed Best, who played Jar Jar Binks, rose on the verge of suicide. And it was because of the Star Wars fan base. The, the, uh, the lady that played Reva from Obi-Wan Kenobi a couple years ago, she was receiving the most racist, horrible messages online just because of appearing in a Star Wars show. And it's absolutely ridiculous and it's childish. Most of y'all that are doing this are 30, 40 year old men acting like you're still 11 years old. And it's absolutely insane and it needs to stop. And I know that this one video is obviously not gonna change the Star Wars fan base. I really just wanted to get on here to share my opinions just because I've been seeing a lot of stuff the last couple of days and it hurts my heart, it does. You know, on both sides, like if you love Star Wars, if you love, say you love the people that love Legends and they like the George Lucas era, the first six episodes and then the expanded universe, if they only love that and they don't like the Disney canon, that's fine. That's great. They're allowed to do that. You don't need to be sending, sending them hate just because they don't like the new stuff. It's perfectly fine. But also if someone likes the new Star Wars and they don't care for Legends and they like the new stuff, that's fine too. They're allowed to. It's all Star Wars. It's all, it's not all the same, but it's, it's all Star Wars. And the people that love everything, that's amazing. They're able to find enjoyment in every new thing. And that's great. And it's just sad that our community is like this. And again, I know this one video is not going to change nothing, but I just want to get on here, share my opinion, share my thoughts. And I hope I brought about my way of, I, I, I don't like speaking on camera, so it's kind of uh, difficult for me. But um, yeah, I just hope that, you know, you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed my thoughts. And uh, 
more likely, sadly, if this video even does well, I'll probably end up receiving hate. I'm sure I'll receive death threats. I'm sure I'll receive threats of some kind from those people. It's just how it is in the Star Wars community. Um, but yeah, I just pray y'all have a great day and uh, just try to stay positive out there. You know, if you see someone being attacked, stand up for them, stand up against the haters. And that's really the only way that we're going to be able to change the Star Wars community is just trying to edge out or that was the wrong way to say that. That was, nope. Try to get out, try to get out the haters, get them out of here. And just the Star Wars community just needs to be united against these toxic fans. And we just have to fight back against them. That's the only way that we're going to be able to make the Star Wars community um, be respected again, really. And, but yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. Um, I hope you all have a great day though. And may the force be with you.